right, joining us now on the show, we talked about it in great length in segment number one here on Track Talk. And uh, proud to say that our friends from InThePits.net, John and Larry Lowry Jr., are new, the new managers up at Heartland Park Topeka's Dirt Track. John joins us now. John, how you doing? Good morning, Scott. How you doing, Kurt? Hi, I'm doing great. Congratulations on the new appointment out there. That would be exciting for you. Thank you very much. You know, we can't be more happier. We uh, we can't thank Todd Crosley, Chris Payne, and, and the whole group that, that's out there managing it now. The new general manager, Todd Stevens, we're glad that they took a chance with us, and we're going to make the most of it. How'd this all come together? How'd, how'd you guys get together and make this work? Uh, it really, we, we reached out, uh, actually almost a year ago when they were looking at, at, at talking to the city about managing it for the city, we expressed some interest and kind of let it go at that. And then it came back later on they came back and, and said, Hey, you sent us an email back, back last year. You guys still interested in doing it. And we took it off from there and, and met with them and here we stand. Yeah. Uh, you know, we talked about, and you guys, <laughs> I, I can't remember what years, but you guys have been involved with Heartland Park Topeka. You know that racetrack as well as anybody up there. Take us back through history and tell us about the years that you were involved with it. I know your your brother announced up there as well. Um, you've, your fingerprints on that facility already before you even start this new job. Oh, yeah. We, we, we Our first gig with them was back in 2000 when Jay Linderman ran the, Jay Linderman and Bill Kentling, when they were around. Love Bill Kentling. We Kittling. were involved in. And then uh, 2006, we got the opportunity to run the dirt track, which I, I really enjoyed and, and was hoping it would last a little longer than it did, but it didn't. And, you know, now we're back here in the same spot that we were. Uh, only a little better position this time. The management, I, I, people will not believe the, the energy the management has behind this, this facility now. It's something that they needed since the inception of this place. John, let me ask you this, and we'll get into the IMCA and everything you guys uh, are planning on doing. But what? how close was it, do you think, to Heartland Park Topeka not opening? I mean, it, for, for a moment there, especially once we heard that there was a new owner coming in, then he backed out or whatever happened there at the last minute, now we've got these new owners in there. I mean, there for a moment, there was a possibility that this great venue was not going to reopen. It, it really was. You know, it, the behind-the-scenes stuff, there really wasn't much talk about it. And it, it really, we figured come January when they really, or I guess December is when they announced it, we kind of figured it was going to be a wash because we hadn't heard anything about the new owners looking for anything. And, and then finally when the, the newspaper broke that the company had backed out, we were like, oh, that's not good. And mm-hmm. the next day, here comes, you know, Chris Payne, Todd Crosley in, and 